Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with some Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, the JP side of the game, if it's not obvious. Um, <clears throat> what's today's video going to be about? Well, okay, so let's take a look here. Um, so as you know, as we're getting closer and closer to part two of the Majin Buu saga stuff, um, a lot of people are kind of expecting a easy A for two characters in particular. Uh, this guy right here. Boom, boom. And potentially this guy as well. So, in anticipation for that, I have been trying to grind them. As you can see, I've already finished the Goku completely, uh, thanks to the brand new Goku. But for this Vegeta, I have to actually go out and find his... Uh, uh, I have to do some other grid Vegeta grindy thingies. So, that's what today's video is going to be. We're going to try and get see if we can get Vegeta to... I say 10. In this video, hopefully. I've had some pretty good luck with this. Thank God, um... This stage doesn't seem to be too hard, and I have plenty of keys. I don't know about you guys. Oh, by the way, that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, remember, hit that like button, stuff like that. Da -da -da, blah, 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 blah. All right, let's get back into it. Um, find the correct Vegeta squigglies. There they are. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I definitely hold on to my keys for a very long time. And then I don't think I've used them in about a year. Or so. It's been a very long time, and thanks to this uh, celebration stuff and trying to get all these units up and running, I'm actually out of keys in one area. One, because I used them on LR Krillin, <laughs> so that's the reason why I was able to get uh, how I was able to get 777 medals, is that I just did that nonstop. Um, it took all 300 of my keys and some extra stamina to get that far, so it took a lot. And I'm gonna get an SA20 eventually in other methods. Because I don't know who has it in them to grind. Do that grind twice, man. I don't get it. Like, I understand when there's um the second part of it is up or something. Um, because then I feel like the event is better. <sighs> because usually there's like a bonus attached to it, and you know, it's it's in general easier, but man. Trying to do it with no bonus, it just straight up sucks. I, I just don't understand how someone has the... Just like, mental capacity to not just pass out sleeping. It's just so bad. Alright, keep on grinding. I don't know, but... Um, I was able to do it once, and it's really only because I'm at such a high... Like... It's very weird to feel good about Dokkan, because it never lasts. Um, at least in my experience, it's never lasted, and to be fair, it's get, it gets harder and harder to actually impress someone when you've been a gotcha for this long. Um, I will say one of the things that helps is, um, what's the right word I'm looking for? It's like a good way of saying what I want to say, but it's not coming to my mind at the moment. Um, I just think it's harder than most people think for gotchas to actually do the right thing, I guess and to keep you consistently on board for five years. It just hasn't been able to do that for me. And a lot of it probably does have to deal with the fact that um, I do get screwed over a lot in the gacha pools. A good amount, too. Uh, but I also feel like, in general, the... The overall tone of Dokkan has changed since from when I started. It's very different. Like, I guess... I don't know. It's hard to say specifically, but what today's Dokkan players care about is not something that we really thought of when the game first launched. Um, like, and maybe it's a case of, uh, like, you can't, I guess you can't go back to the well twice, but nothing has ever felt as good as when the God Leads first came out. And it's a very different world to live in to play original Dokkan. Like, there's a certain group of people who have never played Dokkan without god leads. Um, and they don't call them that anymore, they call them category leads now. But back in the day, um, Dokkan leaders things were very different because they were based off of characters. Um, man, what's the... It was like divided into elements. Right, because the first Dokkan Fest was Broly, and he was STR three three key, and I believe it was three hundred attack, defense, and HP to red units. 
So kind of from there, it started being this thing of like, well, now we know specifically he's the leader for um, the red team. So if you want to make a red team, you got to have Broly in it. And then if you don't have Broly, then you have to have the leader that's that can work with Broly, so to say. Um, and that's kind of how things were for a very long time. Um, actually, it wasn't like that for a very long time, because if I remember right, uh, the next thing they did, which was, I believe, at the first year anniversary, might have been? Yeah, probably around the first year anniversary. Um, they dropped this thing that was like... They dropped this thing called Gogeta. I think Gogeta kind of brought in this idea that he don't need any other leader but Gogeta. They kind of screwed up very badly, actually. They made Gogeta too good. Um, so Gogeta was the only real leader in the game because Gogeta was type effective against everyone. He... he there was enough defense in the game that it didn't really matter because he was a Dokkan best exclusive unit. So he could easily tank a lot of stuff. Um, at least back then. There were obviously events like if you were fighting a um, blue event, then you never wanted him to actually... He could always hurt them back, but he could never actually take the damage, so you kind of had to think about that way. But for the most part, the leader was Gogeta, and every team was basically, well, how do I work Gogeta in this? And then the meta kind of afflicted to... Like, why did... There was a time when Over in the Flash was super loved, and you would have to wonder, like, why was Over in the Flash loved so much back then? Um, the reason is that Gogeta had it Over in a Flash, so... Units that go with Gogeta equal good. So that's kind of how the meta evolved around him. It literally evolved. It evolved around Gogeta. And then Super Vegito came out. And it completely changed everything. Because he gave a percentage. Because that was the one thing that um, made Gogeta so much better than the other leaders. Is that he gave basically the same type effect in it. But he gave it to a rainbow. Um, the, the, the buff that Vegito gave... Um, to specifically only AGL units was so massive it didn't make sense to put anything together. Like there was, you could mix and match with a rainbow team, obviously. You could not mix and match with a Super Fujito team, it just didn't make sense. So, yeah, and obviously he came with Broly, so we started with two. And kind of from then, like, there was a big imbalance, there was a big change in like how leader stuff would get, were going to be done. Everyone was afraid, like, what's the rainbow lead for this going to be? Because it's percentage-based. And then Aurelia came out and she was 30% rainbow, and she was perfectly balanced. The people were perfectly pissed, because they were like, I don't know, why, why is really the one? But, I digress. That's a small history lesson from what I can remember. Alright, let's see if we can get the Vegeta to... Um... What am I trying to say? Trying to get this guy to 100% SA. Let's do it. It's probably not a very good chance. I don't have anywhere near enough Vegetas. Alright, just need two. So you got five left. Can I win a coin toss two times? I won it once. I only need it once, man. Just let me win it once. Just let me win it once. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. God, I hope he gets an easy A, because otherwise I kind of just felt like you know, a waste of time. But actually, no. It's a good idea to, while I can, get these Vegetas up and running. Let's see, look at the Vegeta Line Squiggly family. Let me see if I have any more. Is this Vegeta? This Vegeta could use to. Uh, no, not really. Every Vegeta has a. No, oh, wait. Ooh. Next Vegeta. I mean, he's less. <laughs> I don't care so much if he gets SA10, but. At least I can use these two on him. Come on, at least two SA? Man! That's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out! Later! Bye bye.